Hi everybody, so we're going to continue with looking at our numbers from 11 to 20 today. Before we do that, let's do a quick recap of some things we looked at yesterday. So what number comes next? So say the numbers, what comes next? We've got 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 comes next, well done. What's about this one then? What comes next here? We've got 20, 19, 18, 17. Fantastic, it was going backwards that one, wasn't it? Which number is 16? Is it this one or this one? Point to which one it is to your grown up. It is this one, isn't it? Because this one, does anybody know what it says? It says 61, doesn't it? Remember, we've got to have the 16, the teen numbers, the one which represents the 10, comes first. Find the mistake. You might need to pause the video for this one. Find the mistake and tell your grown-up what it is. The mistake is there again, isn't it? Okay, that doesn't say 14. That does. We need to have the 1, which represents the 10 first, and then the 4, 14. Well done. So let's have a look how many we've got today then. So how many are here? So what I'll do is I'll pop them all on and then pause the video, work out how many there are here, how many there are here, how many there are here, and how many there are here. Write the numbers down if you want to, and then when you press play, the answers will come on the screen. So for our tens frame, we've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Well then, if you said that one. For our Numicon, we've got 10, and then we've got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we could have counted the spots, or you might have known that was a five, and to add five onto 10. So remember, I hope you've been counting on from 10. For our sticks, we've got 10, 11, 12. And then for our fingers, we've got 10, 11, 12, 13. So well done if you said 19, 15, 12, and 13. Fantastic. Next one then. What have we got here? So how, what have we got from our tens frame, Numicon sticks, and our fingers? This time, I want to see if you can have a go at writing the number word. So have a go. It is quite tricky. Maybe our grown-ups will help you and look back at the words that I gave you yesterday. So what is the number word for how we represent this? Number word for this, number word for this, and number word for this. Off you go. So we've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. Fantastic. So you can give yourself a tick if you manage to spell 16. And then we've got 18. Then we've got 14. And then we've got 11. So remember, our teen numbers are a little bit more straightforward because we know how to write the first part of the number because we've been doing lots of practice of that. And we add the teen on the end. It's 11, 12 and 20, which are our trickier ones. But give yourselves a big tick if you got those right. So how much is 20? So here we go. We've got it in five, seven. We can do it with our fingers. So we've got five. 10, 15, 20, and we can count in fives because we know how to do that. We could represent it with our numicon. Here we go. So we could represent it with our hands. So we've got two lots of hands, haven't we? 10 and 10 makes 20. 10 and 10 makes 20 with our numicon. Then we could represent it like our tens frames, okay, but they look like windows, don't they? We've got a full tens frame at the top and a full tens frame at the bottom. And then we could represent it with two lots of 10 for our sticks. So 20 is made up of two tens, isn't it? 10 add 10. And we'll be looking at a little bit more tomorrow in terms of tens and ones. So this little boy here is saying, I have made the number 19. Pause the video and see if he's worked out it correctly. Has he made the number 19? No, he hasn't, has he? Because what he's done, here comes Tiny to help him. Is that a 10? And he said, no, it's not a full 10, isn't it? So what he'd done is he'd not made up a full 10 to then make up. So actually, there is only, there's 10 now, because Tiny's moved it back. And then there's 18. So what he'd done, we'll go back to the beginning. Can you see? How he'd not filled his full 10 frame up. So remember when we're making teen numbers, we need to make sure our 
whole tens frame is filled up. So let's fill it up and then we can work out our number properly and it helps us. So we have got 10 and then 8 now, haven't we? So we've got 18. So well done if you spotted that mistake. So Tiny's saying here, look at all the ways I can show 12. So he's got his fingers, hasn't he? He's got 5 and 5, which is 10, and then 2 more, which is 12. He's got a new account as 10 and 2 more to make 12. He's done some apples in some bags, and he's done some dice. But which one is not correct? Hmm, I didn't notice when I was going through them. Did you? Pause the video and have a look. Which one is not 12? It is the apples, isn't it? He? He'd only put four in there, four in there. So that four and four is eight, nine, ten, eleven. He'd only drawn eleven apples. Silly tiny. So what I want you to do now is I want you to pick a number between 11 and 20 and show me how many ways you can represent that number. So I've chosen number 15 and I've written it there as a number and I've also written the word. But then what I've done is I've drawn some numicon, I've drawn some six. So remember I've got my bundle of 10 and then five. I've drawn some fingers, I've drawn 15 fingers and then I've drawn it on my tens frame. I want you to see how many ways you can represent a number. Choose whichever number you want, as long as it's between 11 and 20. You might want to draw it and create a poster. You might want to use the toys in your house. You might want to like, build a 10 with Lego and then have however many more, depending on what your number is. So I would have a 10 Lego and five Legos to represent 15. I might want to look if I've got some magazines or catalogues in the house to see if I can cut things out and stick them down. As long as it is representing the number you have chosen, you can decide how to, however you want. You can be as creative as you want. So you might send a couple of pictures over on tapestry. You might create a poster. Like I say, it's entirely up to you. So choose a number between 11 and 20 and show me how many ways you can represent that number. Have fun!